friends, welcome back to our channel. It is a beautiful spring day here in New Jersey, and I thought it was a perfect day to go and forage some beautiful branches to freshen things up in our home. Bringing the outside in is huge for just overall joy, okay? And so if you wanna breathe some life into your home, I highly suggest you go and forage too. Hopefully today brings you some inspiration. I've had my eye on a couple trees that have been in the nearby vicinity. All you need are a pair of clippers. I don't know what these are. I don't have clippers. I need to get clippers. These are not, these are actually really terrible, but we're gonna use them. So get yourself some clippers. You'll learn your lesson by watching me try to cut some branches. Anyways, let's go. Here we have found our first victim. Oh babe, I need clippers. It's not gonna work. I need to do this now. It's not gonna be nice out. I need to do it now. And just like that, <laughs> we have our first. <laughs> Look how beautiful. Where there's a will, there's a way. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, stunning. I'm gonna try to get one more branch. <laughs> Stay. Jesus, help me. Huh. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go check this one up here real quick. This is so fun. I'm actually so enjoying myself. I want that pop of white. So it's a lot harder with these things. You need clippers. If you don't have clippers and you're desperate like me, twist. Twist it around, twist it, twist it, twist it. Break it and then twist it. It sounds like it's violent, but really, like trees are meant to be pruned, so it's fine. You really cracked yourself up. Huh? I think I'm so funny. Trees are meant to be pruned, but not like that. Really? Bad for the tree. Is it actually? Oh yeah. Wait, are you serious? Mm -hmm. How do you feel now? Wait, is it actually hurting the tree? Mm -hmm. sure. Okay, let me look this up. I wasn't planning on picking flowers, but there's these beautiful white flowers and they would be so pretty to make a bouquet from. Okay, I am back home and I'm gonna make some arrangements. Something you're wanna gonna, something that you're gonna wanna do is shake out your branches so that any bugs that might be living in them go away. There's always a chance that you're gonna bring bugs in your house, so if you're not into that, don't forage. And then another thing you're gonna wanna get is a hammer, and I'll show you why in a moment. hammer the end of your branches because it's gonna help it drink up the water a lot faster. 
and they drink up water very fast. So just make sure that you are checking the water and refilling it regularly. You're gonna wanna trim any of the leaves that are gonna go into the water because it's gonna help keep the water fresh. So next up, I look at kind of what I've created and it feels like it's a little full here. I would like it to be a little more sparse. So I'm gonna just like clip away and make something that looks beautiful to me. So let's see. By the way, we're renting. And so our landlord has a guy that comes and does the yard and that's the guy. So often I find that less is more, and I felt like at first it was like not really coming together. And then, one second. I put too many branches in, I started subtracting, and now this feels like very sculptural, it's open, it's beautiful, not so heavy, you get to appreciate it more. So I think I'm gonna leave this one like this. I also got these beautiful wildflowers. I'm just gonna cut off the base and see what we can do with these. I have this amazing David bust, like vase type thing, planter. And it doesn't have a lot of space, but I'm gonna try. I don't even think I could fit water in here, but I feel like this would be fun. This is beautiful, it's like a flat fountain of life. Okay, what? Guys, I'm never, okay, I'm actually, this isn't true, but like, I'm just gonna, in the spring, forage for flowers. Why would I buy flowers when I can go out on a walk and forage flowers? It's more fun, you get outside and you get this. So pretty. Okay. And last but not least, I got these daffodils. I don't think I have enough to make this feel full, but I have this like iron shell dish and I have these flower frogs. And I'm gonna try to make a fun little flower arrangement with it. Well, these are the three creations. As you can see, these flowers wilted pretty quickly. I just got them in water, so hopefully that livens them up. This is just so encouraging to me. Like, you don't need to have money to have beautiful flowers in your home in the spring, summer. And honestly, going and foraging them yourself is so much more fun because you get to choose what you want from nature. It doesn't cost you money. You're out in the sun. So fun. I actually was even more inspired to do this because we're doing a challenge right now inside of our membership, which all the information is down below, by the way, for that. But we're supposed to go out and forage branches. And if people forage branches and they post their photos, they get entered into a giveaway. So we do fun monthly challenges with giveaways. And so I wanted to do my own, even though I'm not winning the giveaway. I love the height of these branches. It would work so beautifully as a centerpiece on a dining table. Um, it draws your eye upward. And once again, having something living in your home is so huge. It breathes life into a home. And so I hope that this video encourages you to go out and forge some branches of your own, bring some life into your home and 
enjoy the beauty that spring offers. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy spring! Oh.